It's happening! Frosthaven is now coming to Tabletop Simulator. The same team that made Gloomhaven Enhanced is now making Frosthaven Enhanced with permission from Isaac. They've already got some like heads up on it, so they, they didn't just start working on it today, but we're getting it soon, and that's really exciting. Personally, this also means another thing that me and my team are our, we have plans to start a Let's Play Frosthaven campaign in which we will be, uh, the group of us will return to Frosthaven, streaming it uh, probably weekly, and I'll try to get through that. It'll, I'm really excited for it. I know I already have my current Frosthaven campaign, but it'd be really cool to start another one and for all of you to join us and watch us play. And for fun community projects, I might actually like let patrons pick my class or other stuff like that. So we can have some community interaction as well as um, we could uh, having like my guests. And if you've watched our Let's Play Gloomhaven campaign, which I have taken down, but uh, if you watch that, we'll have at least uh, two people returning. Uh, Mad Scotsman, who was primarily known for playing the Craigheart, Angry Face, and the Three Spears, as well as the return of the person who played way too many harrowers, uh, Masochism Tango. And uh, I'm sure his personality will be uh, appreciated once again, uh, and as well as his critique of certain scenarios by Matthew G. Somers and Marcel Sartechka. <laughs> In the wake of some companies resisting uh, their mods being put on Tabletop Simulator, and in some cases we get it because, I mean, these these are games that people want them to buy, people want them to play it like that, but in some cases um, giving access just gives it more accessibility to more people. Additionally, at least in our team, every member of our team was given a copy of Frosthaven, so there's not really any uh, duplication of sales there, but giving this accessibility to everyone will be so helpful for people who do have to play remote, who do live across uh, states, countries, or anywhere in the world, or maybe it's just a timing thing, sometimes just getting everyone together in the same room. And plus, you know, setup. It, Frosthaven Tabletop Simulator uh, just sets up more quickly. It's just easy. This coming alongside a lot of Cephala Fair news that's really exciting with the Backer Kit campaign for the RPG coming in June. And not only that, but just being able to see all the miniatures sounds really cool because like Isaac has confirmed there's going to be like 600 some miniatures as part of the campaign. And he says, first off, most people are probably not going to be getting the 600 thing lot. And most people who just want to get the RPG, if you want to, this is not an RPG that demands you use the miniatures. Uh, unlike Gloomhaven, which you have to set up the board and miniatures and standees, you can play this like a traditional TTRPG without it. But this is definitely just a thing to enrich it, as well as the fact that not only can these miniatures be used for the RPG, but all of them can be brought over to Gloomhaven, to Frosthaven, and whatever other projects they're cooking up. So personally, I'm like really excited for this uh, because the sculpts are notably better. I do think the original Gloomhaven sculpts were a little bit of a miss, but they've gotten better over time. And these ones definitely look amazing. Now, uh, from someone who's played like Oathsworn more recently, I, I don't think they're on the same tier. I do think that being at a different scale does really adds a lot. But like, um, personally, this is definitely something that as a hobbyist, now these look more interesting. And I, I obviously, I was like super in, into the Frosthaven miniatures. I feel like they've got, first off, all the characters, regardless of sculpt quality, have lots of characters. And if you look at do the math on 600 and you like math out all the monsters, there's there's not enough. It's not going to hit the 600 bar, which can mean maybe there's hidden monsters. But what I most likely think is we're going to get quite a bit of hero miniatures to play as characters, which you can use as like proxies for the characters you're playing in your current campaign, which I'm super excited about. A big thanks to the uh, tabletop enhanced team. Uh, for making Gloomhaven Enhanced, and now for Frosthaven Enhanced, uh, for someone who has all, all over the state, <laughs> uh, we're not able to get like my main group together as often. This is just a blessing. Uh, I, I personally just think this is just something that helps the whole community on the whole, and I'm really happy that we have now an alternative to just playing it via you know, tabletop. So a big thank you to the team. Thank you for making this. And I'm really excited to have this mod in our hands again. And I hope you join us for Let's Play Frosthaven. We'll have a fresh campaign. Uh, we'll l let you know at the beginning of episodes, like what spoilers and stuff. So as you follow through the campaign, we'll let you know what scenario it is and what campaign, what classes we're bringing. So there's going to be no spoilers throughout the campaign. So obviously there will be as we go forward, but we're gonna, you're going to find out right at the start of the episode or for the thumbnail. So really hope that you can join us. It's always a fun to be able to interact with the community and again I know I haven't streamed in quite some time but I'm really looking forward to get back into it so I uh, hope all of you have 
a wonderful day and thanks to the tabletop enhanced team thanks to isaac and the cephalofair team and all of you just keep being amazing